Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're trying a couple drinks that are probably more holiday themed, but it's still snowing, it's still cold, uh, so they'll still work. And uh, lots of snow going all around, polar conditions, but uh, one's a, for anybody, non-alcoholic, and one of them is alcoholic, it's a beer. So stick around if that stays, if that stays, if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're trying two different types of drinks. One's made from fruit juice, the other one's an ale. So today we have two different drinks. One's from Nature's Nectar. It's called a Sparkling Fresh Sugar Plum Apple Cider. It is 100% juice. Nature's Nectar. Never heard of that. Probably Must be from the world market. Yeah. Pour it in here. Uh, says it's 100% juice. 170 calories, apple juice, and grape skin extract. So that's what they say is in there. Here's what it looks like. Kind of a brownish color. It smells like apples. apples. Tastes like apple and apple, or maybe sugar cane. I think it tastes like sugar cane. Like, I've drank that sugar cane soda, and that's what that tastes like. And that tastes like apple juice and sugar cane soda. Yeah. But they call it... Mixed sugar plum. Sugar plum apple cider. And I think that's with the grape. Oh, it might... The, grape the little grape... Uh, grape skins is the... Um, Plum, and then the apple cider and the sugars come from yeah, the sugar cane and the apple. It is an odd flavor, kind of a unique flavor. It's not my favorite flavor, but it tastes almost like socks or something. I don't know. Odd flavor. All right, this next one's a Pimp My Sleigh Belgian style Christmas ale. So we're a little late there. It's after Christmas. This was left at mom's. Uh, Fathead's Brewery says, chill out, man, have a beer. Matt, Chris, and Glenn says, have a beer. This is 10.5% alcohol by vo volume, and it has 30 IBUs. It is ale brewed with spices. It's a pimped up holiday brew from Fathead's. So let's open this and see what this looks like. Not a whole lot of fizz. Of course, it is a couple weeks old. Let's see what it looks like. Brown too, just like the uh, little darker than this, but brown also. Got some head to it. Mm, smells like beef. <coughs> beef. Stop barking. Smell like beer. Mm -hmm. sure All right, is. cheers. That's very full of sweet, almost like a. Very sweet. It's got like um, molasses, maybe. I think that's got some molasses in it. Cause it's got it's a very dark uh, and thick beer. Very full body. Ten percent alcohol. Wow, you can't tell that. It doesn't taste like alcohol. A little bit, but it's it's a, it's sweeter than a. That tastes like a regular beer. beer. Not a real strong ale, so very good. Good job, guys. Pimp my sleigh. Hey, that's not bad. Fat heads. Check that out if you're of age and you don't have issues with alcohol. Because I don't want to encourage any, anybody that has an issue with alcohol to try it. Uh, go get this. No, probably wouldn't because it's not that great. Find you something else. Maybe, um, I don't know, there's lots of drinks out there that are non-alcoholic, so... We'll see you guys next time. Keep finding the art and everything. This is the Gypsy and the Vanilla Grill food reviews and taste test. That's a long title. These are short reviews. Peace out. Peace y'all. And as always, we want to thank all of you who come and watch our videos. Hit that like button and share us out. Please consider becoming one of our members. We want to thank our members. Time to Shine Homestead. Just doing our best. 
aerial Viking ventures and victuals, Roy and Becky's travel, and native wild man. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters, Mary Ranch, the Vineyard Chicks, and the Timbrook family. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,